Hello everyone, my name is uh, Chef Marlin from Atlanta. Today we are going to cook uh, chicken tikka. And chicken tikka is, um, you can find everywhere here in Atlanta, a lot of like an Indian restaurant, but this chicken tikka is very easy to, to cook because all the ingredients that you need, you might already have it in your pantry or in your fridge. Now, I have my uh, pan heating up in here, and I'm going to add my oil in the pan. And I'm gonna add my butter. I use butter half and half because uh, if I only use butter, it will, uh, it will burn pretty quick. And also the reason why I use butter because it tastes uh, a little better than just oil, and it make it taste creamier. And I have my uh, garlic and my onion, half and half, chopped, both of them, and I'm gonna add it in the pan. And stir it for maybe a 30 seconds. Then I will add my dry spices right here. And stir it for maybe a minute until you can smell all the spices in there. Now I would add my chopped onion right here. You don't want to burn it your uh, spices so it doesn't taste. If you burn it, it tastes better. Now I have to cook this for 60, 30 seconds or 60, 60 seconds. Now I would add my tomato puree. So I'm gonna stir this tomato puree with my onion and maybe 30 seconds. Now at this time, it's ready to add my chicken. I have the chicken that I already cut and marinated with my uh, uh, yogurt and the, some spices with it. I'm going to add it in the pan. And cook for maybe 10 minutes or until it's really cooked. And now I'm going to add my chicken stock. So I'm gonna let it simmer for 15 minutes. Now we're ready to add the cream. So this is look very yummy. Now, what we're looking for this uh, this chicken tikka, we need like, it, it's ready to, uh, it's almost cooked. And you can uh, try to cut your chicken and it become like a tender. That the it separate easier. Your chicken is cooked. It's ready to eat. So we'll just like simmer it for until the chicken is get done. And I have already cooked uh, chicken, which is ready to serve and I just keep it in the oven so you keep it hot. So now, I got right here. And it is ready to serve, right there.
hope you enjoy this dish.